the kingdom of light. We are children of God. We operate in a higher principle. We operate in what? A higher principle. And a higher frequency. And we must understand the workings of these. Because you may have the blessing and not have the faith to activate the blessing. And that is where the church is today. We know about the blessing of God. But whatever you have no faith for, you cannot command. We walk with so much rigor, with so much energy in the world system. When you see those who are going to their job places in the morning, they leave house, their house very early, beat the traffic because they don't want to be sacked. They put in a lot of effort in the human system. They get up, put their clothes in order, their shoes in order, their bags in order if they're women. They organize their system, get ready for their work. They are going out to bid for contract. They go out, they set themselves, prepare themselves they go to the marketplaces, the also push through clinics in order to obtain, to assess the natural things of this world. But because they have faith in the natural things, the children go to school and because the parents have faith in the natural systems, we push the children through school whether it's raining or not, we get them through the cars and get them out there. So you got to go to school. We exercise a whole lot of faith to go to parties, to do natural system, to go into things. Sometimes they bring to some of you some creams. No body creams and oh this is good for your skin oh this is going to be good for you and you patronize them you don't even know what it's going to be like but you just buy them you get into the flight you don't even know if the pilot has the right certificate but you don't care you just believe that it's going to take you to where you're going and you get into your bosses we be, we go to this natural life system we hustle some of you the energy you put in the natural things, you don't even bring that up to the spiritual things. You pursue life, even though you are finding, you are getting nothing, you are getting no result. Some go through hell in their place of work, but they don't want to lose that job. Because they have faith in that little salary. We have faith in natural things. And we go for them with all our hearts. Sometimes we get them with so much pain and all. But we still go. And we look at spiritual things and the blessings of God. And we take and commonize them. And say, oh, they will come to pass. It will follow me. No, brother. Every time you demonstrate enthusiasm, courage, confidence in natural things that you have faith in, it outweighs your spiritual focus and your spiritual mindset and you don't understand. You don't even pray. It's even now that you can go out of your house in the morning and you are pursuing things and you have not even prayed. Somebody called you. From years ago, a young man, I believe he's hearing my voice, was called. Come and take a contract. And he went with them and they were, they, they, they were describing by phone, come to this spot and from this spot to this spot 
and actually they were leading him into the forest but because he needed the contract and they, they have told him how big the contract is he was set on proving himself getting the contract even when they told him go through that bush path and uh, he don't know where the bush path was heading to but he had courage and confidence he had faith even though they were kidnappers he still had that faith until he found that there was a problem we have faith and meet, each time we meet faith friends we meet a whole lot of uh, uh, issues in our life system but here this ladies and my, 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 my gentlemen and my brothers if you have so much natural mindset faith in these things you chase around Bible says in the book of Matthew 6 33 God is saying to us if we first seek but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you hallelujah all these things you are chasing about you are neglecting Bible study for your, your giftings. Some of you, are, even your giftings in the spirit are there. Some of them come seasonally. You are like the water that the angels come to stir up in season. Oh, that phase is over. You only pray when there is a problem. If they find you on the altar crying and praying, that means there's a big problem. But here is the Bible says we have an adversary who is a royal lion who goes about seeking who he will devour. But by the blood of the Lamb, I, pre I decree that you are covered. Some of us chase men, chase women, crawl out, follow clouds of people get nothing out of it and yet we are still pursuing but listen we have two systems of the earth God wants us to operate on a higher frequency the frequency of love peace justice, truth righteousness Because we are in the war, we are not the same. Our system is not the same system. If we look at the scriptures, the Bible says in Galatians chapter number 5, verse number 16 down 21, it says, These I say then, walk ye in the spirit. And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We don't need to be chasing after fleshly things. They come after you. Hallelujah. Because a whole lot of things affect our faith system. As long as you have hope for something that you are not seeing, it means you have faith in it. Hello. Did you hear what I said? As long as you have what? Hope for something you are what? Not seeing. That's faith. Whether it's spiritual, whether it's physical, that's faith. The Bible keeps telling us about this, like I started to read, Verse 16, I want to go back to verse 16. It says, This I say then, walk ye in the spirit. And you can't walk in the spirit without the word of God. The word of God is the element of the spirit. For everything about the spirit is the word. The end and the beginning product of the spiritual journey is the word. That's why the word provokes the spirit and at the end the spirit will manifest the word. Now, look 
at the two different systems, all in this Galatians. Now let's go down to 17 and 18. For the flesh lusted against what? The spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one to the other. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led by the Spirit, ye shall not be under the law. Go ahead, please. Hallelujah. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lavishousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, violence, habilitations, wrath, strife, seduction, and what? A heresy. Envy, murder, come on, read with me if you can. Drunkenness, prevailing, and what such like of these which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So with me, two kingdoms. Now, why grace is abundant towards us is because of what we inherit. That's why the word of God builds us up to give us an inheritance. Lift up your two and say, I take my inheritance. Now, what does the word of God give us? Our divine inheritance. That's what God's word gives to us. Now, there are two kingdoms. There are two kingdoms. Now, God has just described how the principles... That, the, that this other kingdom operate in. Now, let me show you this. In from verse 22 to 25, it's going to talk about how the other kingdom operates. Now, this kingdom operates with a whole lot of uh, 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 sinful nature, strive. Push me, I push you. Get out of the way. It doesn't matter what we do to get it. Now, by the other kingdom, it says, but the fruit of what? The spirit is what? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Go ahead. Meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. Give God an amen. There are two different kinds. Now go ahead, verse. He says, And they that are what? Christ have crucified the flesh with the what? Affections and lust. Go ahead, verse 20. He says, For if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. There are two dimensions, two kingdoms, but they all operate. Now, hear this. They operate under laws, but one has a lower human realm law. That's why, you know, we shouldn't envy the world. They can kill to get what they want. They can commit adultery, fornication to get what they want. But it don't make them better than you. And so don't look at them. Don't, 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 get a, don't get carried away by these things. Don't look at these things. For where you operate from is different from where they are operating from. If you hear me say, I hear you. They are very different. Now, if we look at the scripture, Galatians chapter, five, chapter 6, verse 7 to 8, Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 to 8 Glory to God He says be not deceived God is not more for, whoso, for what Whosoever Whatsoever a man soweth shall he also reap Go verse 8 For he that soweth To his flesh Shall of the flesh reap Corruption but he that soweth To what To the spirit shall of the spirit Reap what life everlasting. Now stop at this verse 8. Give me the amplified translation of this. 
Now, sow it. Everybody say, sow it. It means whosoever transacts, whatever we do, whatever we transact with, they, they are two realms. They are what? Two realms. Now, look at it here. It says, for he who sows to his own what? Flesh, lower nature, says, Sexuality. Now say with me, lower nature. Now, when we hustle, when we chase after the worldly system, we are afraid more of what, what we can do in the market. What we, uh, we are, we are exercising faith in the lower nature. Now, I, I just wanted to bring that out for you. Now. That's a lower nature, which is what? Sensuality will from the flesh reap what? Decay and ruins and destruction. But he who sows to the spirit will from what? The spirit reap what? Stop here. Now keep that amplified. Now I just want you to understand the word sowing means walking. We must understand how life works. The workings of life. Because if we don't define, I'm going to be taking us to a whole different realm in the next service, but hear this, I need to build the fundamental foundation because we exercise faith quickly. In this natural lower realm, connection, If somebody is after your life and they say, okay, let the angel of the Lord protect you or, or take this mobile police or this security. The, the one you see seems to be what? Wait in your eyes. But that's a lower system. Because if the enemy is coming after you, he may not come after you with any body with gun. He may come after with disease. And with this security man handle disease. Am I communicating? Now, look at it carefully. For he who sows to his own flesh, lower nature. If we have faith in our lower nature, which is necessary sometimes, we need to go to take our shower to be clean. Am I right? We need to go to school to be educated. Am I right? But we should understand that these things are in our lower nature that we don't have too much faith for the lower nature and the spiritual what? Nature of God in us is not in effect. Are you, are you hearing my voice? We derive pleasure and joy in the lower nature. But how much pleasure do you think you would derive in the spiritual nature? And the Bible says the two nature, the flesh lost, the flesh is the one who is lusting after the spirit. That's why I hear this. It doesn't matter how much prayer you have prayed, how much sanctification you've had, the flesh will bring all sorts of temptation to you. Did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? If you like climb the holy mountains and you are just coming down, Jesus had how many days? 40 days fasting and the first person that showed up was not an angel, was the flesh, the devil. Ooh -wee. And what was he giving him? Natural things. Bow down and take this. Turn this to this. Bread. Natural. We can have. Now hear this. And Jesus displayed the superiority over the lower nature. The lower nature wants food, wants uh, 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 fleshly satisfaction. The lower nature wants a job, wants money, cash. But here it is the spiritual nature is above all those things because he commands them. Say command. Say money, comment. Favor, grace, success. We 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 are, we obtain them from where we are. For we are blessed. In heavenly places where our spiritual nature has its source. So, faith it 
must be seen for the clear dimension that there are two natures. That you and I, as I'm speaking right now, you can see that uh, you have so much faith in the natural, in the lower nature. That if I tell you, shut down your shop and be in church on Tuesday, eh, my business will die. That's what you believe and that's what you receive. Because that's what you know. And that's what you have faith on. Because here it is. You respond to the realm of faith you answer to. Oh, come on. I want to say it again. What did I say? To the realm of faith, you do what? You answer to. Why will you miss Bible study? Why will you not be in church? Why will you not be dedicated to the work of the kingdom? Why? Oh, my business, you see, my... That you forget that these things are your lower nature. I don't care how beautiful you make your toilet. Do you sleep there? Huh? Your lower nature takes care of your what? Natural things. But I don't use this, no, but we shouldn't. A faith to those things. And when your faith realm is higher in the lower nature, and the lower nature is driven by these categories that we find in the scriptures of Galatians, am I complicated? Then you discover why your problems are coming. Because if we are now driven by our spiritual nature love, peace am I complicating? long suffering, am I complicating? patience, eh? temperance meekness, you now discover that there are two expectations from the two walls one is dragging you down and one is lifting you up shout I hear you and that's why for your faith to begin to rise for your blessing you will now understand why the Bible says for it is not you the Bible says in Deuteronomy 818 God's word began to reveal to the church Deuteronomy 818 but you shall what go back to the King James Amen. then you come back here say but thou shalt what Remember the Lord thy God, for it is He that giveth thee what power to get wealth, that He may establish His covenant which He swore unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Can we take it from verse 17, please? Glory to God. From verse 17. And thou say, In what? In thy heart, my power and my my power and what? The might of my mind had gotten me what? This world. My intelligence. My lower nature. Hallelujah. Has gotten me what I have. And we have so much faith. So much faith. But thou shalt remember that it is the Lord thy God, for it is he that what? Give thee the power to get wealth. Go to the uh, 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 Amplified Translation. Start it from verse 17, please. Now, I'm, 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 I'm bringing down the foundation because faith for the blessing, you got to understand the workings because I'm working it right now. Right now, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm re-engineering your mind to understand these things. He said, beware. Lest you say in your mind and heart that this is the dangerous place. This is very dangerous. Because this is what some of us are victim of every time. And this is what reduces, this is what deals with your life realm of faith 
your mind and heart. And by what? By power and the might of my hand have gotten me this wealth. Now that's where the world wants to drive the church to. And God is against it. God gave you hand. And he knows what you can do with that hand. Can I hear an amen? I hear this. I don't care what you can do with that hand, but you can not have faith in that hand more than the one who gave you the hand. Am I communicating? Because he knows why he gave you the hand. So thank God for the hand he gave you and for the abilities and skills and knowledge and, and creativities that he has put in that hand. But you can't honor anything in that hand above the one that created that hand and gave it to you. For many are with that hands. Am I communicating? Why? Go back to my 17, please. Amplify. Beware, lest you say in what? In the mind and heart that my power and the what? The might of my hand has gotten me this well. Go ahead, verse 18. But you shall earnestly remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto your fathers, even as it is this day. So every time a child of God is blessed and wealthy, the covenant of God's way of prosperity is established. I hear this, that's why God will not allow the blessing of the righteous to be corrupted. Oh, come on, you didn't hear me. You wouldn't let your, 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 your finances disappear. No, 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 no. That's why our covenant is our inheritance. And it is to our children, children. And that's why you must understand what you are in, what you are breaking into, what you are walking into. What you are walking into every day. And teach your children these things. Because we saw that we, we have studied about the lower what? Nature. And so when we have confidence that our lower nature now part of our lower nature is our what? Mind and what? Heart. Am I communicating? That how smart I am, how intelligent I am how creative I am but hear this those things are good but God says put your faith in what? In me that I am the one giving you this. Why am I giving you this? To establish to do what? That's why we come out to share the testimony. The, and the world don't know about it. Now, the unbelievers don't understand testimony. I will just go to church and talk to people about what uh, uh, happened to me that is positive. Yes, because that's me talking about my faith. That God just gave me a new breakthrough. Am I communicating? It is a spiritual law that as I say it, I overcome every challenge. Now, it's the same thing. They say, oh, it's transactional. Child of God, God has been transactional from Genesis 1. The whole world will have remained the way it is. Am I communicating? The whole world will have what? Formless, void, empty, darkness, and the Spirit of God hover. And having hovered, he said what? Let there be light. And even when Adam fell into sin, and he he stepped in the place and took a lamb and sacrificed the lamb. It's not Adam that killed that lamb. Who did? The Bible says the Lord slayed the lamb. Am I communicating? And what covered Adam and his wife? He did something. He will do something for you. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? We must understand the spiritual laws and the spiritual nature. So when we talk about faith, we don't have faith more in the in the lower nature and lose faith in what? 
in the higher realm. It's very important for you to understand these spiritual laws because if you do not understand them, you give what belongs to God to the enemy. Do not understand the workings. Bible says in Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2, it says, according as his divine power, Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2, no, sorry, verse 3, please. Verse 3, glory to God. It says, according as his divine power had given unto us all things that pertain to what? Life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us unto what? Glory and virtue. According as what? His divine power. According as he had given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. According as his divine power. Say divine power. Now, go ahead. Look at the next verse. Verse 4. He said, Wherein are given unto us exceedingly great and what? Great and precious faith that by these ye might be partakers of what? The divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the wall through lust. Did you, did, can you get it blended? Is it rhyming with you? Talking about the lower realm and what? The higher realm. And so every time we hold the word of God, we are upholding the what? The nature of God. And we are, every time we hold on to the flesh, we are holding what? Our natural nature. According as this divine power. Now that's why we discover, according as this divine power has given us all these things, we escape the corruption that is in the world through lust. And uh, beside this, giving all diligence out to your faith, virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, what? Patience, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. For all these things be what? Be in you and abound. Make you, they make you that ye shall what? Neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shall I hear you? The higher realm is the nat divine nature. Now hear this. Every time your ambitions are good, your desire for more money increase, they are good. But listen to me. What you are doing, are you neglecting the divine nature, am I communicating, the higher realm of your practice? And you are chasing. And you, look, you need to look at how some of you negotiate. How you battle? How you deal with your business? You're so full of anger. Unforgiving. Is that your nature? Faith in the blessing, shout it. It's demonstrated. It's what? It's demonstrated in the reality of his word. Because God can make anything happen for us. The Bible says in the book of uh, 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 Psalms 82 verse 5, say, ye are gods. Say for, he said, and know not neither will they, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on what? On in darkness, all the foundation of the earth are with are out of course. The foundation of this earth is what? So when we that's why no matter how perfect the arrangement is in the natural realm, mm -mm, it's not leading to the divine purpose. Am I communicating? So we don't put our faith in the 
we are smart, we are, we, we are educated, but our faith, can I hear the man, is not in the night, because we know that the earth is out of force. That one plus one is not two. You didn't hear me. <laughs> On this earth, it changes. What worked in the 70s, is it working now? Okay, what worked last day, is it working now? And let's go for that. Verse 6, I want to go. Let me show you some few. He says, I have said that ye are gods, and all of you are children of the most high. All of you are what? Remember, the earth is without gods. They walk in darkness, but they will not know. There may be billionaires, but they are in darkness. Am I communicating? And he said to me some no. No one of the billionaire was talking to me and he was regretting that he's been a billionaire having so much money he has no family anymore all his children are gone because the money came so much that the time for the children to be put to shape was not there so even as he's alive, he's struggling with the children. Don't sell this. Don't touch this. The children are looking for every avenue to sell off all he has. If he dies tomorrow, he knows that he will lose everything. And he can't have another child. So the money is not. God wants you to know that you are of God. And you are children of who? The Most High. And if you are a child of the Most High, operate in the Most High Revelation. Let your faith command your blessing. I'm going to, I'm going to hit somebody some. Because you need to understand what God is telling us. Verse 7 and 8, I want to go further. He said, but ye shall what? Die like men and fall like what? One of the princes, because you don't know who you are. Why? You are of God. You are children of the Most High. Let you die like men now. Don't be caught up with the struggles and become like the natural man. Because all your hustles, your pursuits, nothing is coming out. The principles we are operating is is different. Oh, tap your neighbor say the principles that we operate with in the kingdom of God is different. Now look at Isaiah. I want to end with this. I don't know how much time I have. Isaiah uh, 65 verse 16. God wanted to demonstrate to the church the kind, what the workings. Isaiah 65. The kind of things. He said, that he who bless himself in the earth shall be blessed himself in what? In God of the truth. And he that sweareth in what? Shall, uh, shall what? Swear by the gods of what? The truth. Because the former troubles are forgotten. And because they are he from the eye. Hallelujah. That's not the scripture I'm actually looking at. But let me take it in the Amplify. Take it for me in the Amplify. Glory to God. Let's read it in the Amplify. Amplify translation. So it shall be that he who invokes a blessing on himself in the land shall do so by saying may the Lord God of truth and what fidelity the amen bless me now hear this thank God because I read this in what in the amplified translation now look at it if you are invoking a blessing on himself in the land shall do so by what May the God of truth and fidelity, 
the amen bless me and he who takes an oath in the land shall swear by the God of truth and faithfulness to his promise who is faithful to his promise the amen because the former troubles are what and because they are hidden from my eyes. Now hear this. As soon as you begin to walk in the promised blessing, you will never remember your past. You will never be carrying, a, carrying you know, like what you guys experienced when you were in the university and you have carryover. Eh? Even though you are now in another semester, you are still carrying over what? the last, so you are going back to take what? Lectures. You are going back and forward. Am I communicating? That's not what your, your Christianity is. Once your heart is in Christ, I don't care how many thousands of failure, you walk in a new light. The God of blessing. Say with me, the God of blessing. Say it again. The God of blessing. Don't put your mind on the things of the world. The failures of... Now, hear this. You are the one who went out to hustle, to struggle, and you are the one who failed. And you say God did not answer you. You didn't even find out if it is his will first. Am I communicating? Oh, my business, this is happening. You Listen, this are, when you go out there and you meet these problems, understand that these problems, they, though they met you in the natural form, but now that you are you have engaged into your spiritual nature, forget about your failures. And believe in the God that can give you true justice. Because your faith, because it, it, you see, every, every time you stand, you are standing with baggages of past. Go and do this thing. No, I can't do it too. He, uh, I did it before. It didn't work. But you forget that there are people who toiled all through the night and they got nothing. But their tomorrow became more abundant than many people who have toiled all through the year. That what they got by the word of God beat what the Bible said these fishermen say what? We have toiled what? All night. We got what? Nothing. But by the word. So the they didn't go back and cast their net with the thought of hear this, the past is forgotten when the nature of God just shows up. That's why there's no barrier in the house. When God calls out you for fruitfulness, don't tell him I was barrier before. He didn't know. God did not understand it. He has never seen you barrier. Don't say I'm jobless, eh? When God said to Elijah, go to the widow of Zarephath and she will feed you. God did not give the widow money. If the widow had money, the widow would have said I had money. The widow herself was looking for a way to survive. No salary, no nothing. Everything dried up. She was gathering few sticks to eat and die. And the whole, a, a man as a man that had trekked miles showed up. <laughs> Man of God. <laughs> I wouldn't trekked and trekked and found himself in the very house of the widow. Is this the house of the widow where God says they will provide for me or through the farming? The man stepped in. Give me food to eat. He said, what food in this house? You came to the wrong house. Too. But here this, the man of God say, I prophesy Ah, that muzzle of bread and wheat shall not cease. The oil will not go down. The woman said, Nevertheless, at thy word, I will do it. Because there is no past trouble when the kingdom arrives. There is no past pass. There is no past failure when the kingdom arrives. The faith for the blessing does not remember the failures of the past. I don't care how many times you failed at the past. When the faith for the blessing is operated, do you want the blessing? 
I said, do you want the blessing? I said, do you want the blessing? Do you want the blessing? Do you want the blessing? Then let your faith answer God, not your doubt and not your shame. Shout, I hear you. Every time come before God, the Bible says we must first believe. Hebrews 11 verse 6. It didn't say we should ever doubt. Why do you first believe? Because that's him. Believe. I don't care your story. I don't care your issue. I don't care how long it has I don't care who stopped it. I don't know how possible it looks like. But you must first believe. Hallelujah. For it is impossible to please God. Satisfactory to him. For who, for whoever will come near to God must what? Necessarily believe that God exists and that he is a rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. Come to him with the faith of mountain. Don't let your past thoughts. That's why here this when you are responding to the function of faith no doubt speaks in your mind. You can take over this entire nation. You can fix your father's house. I wrote something down here. I want to declare this twice today. Ebeshi katu shabahanda kataya zebede koto shepediada To go as far, you must stretch beyond the achievement of your parents. If you must go far, stretch your faith. Look at life beyond your genetic formation. Who is your earthly father? Does not come in weight. David's father was not a king when God anointed him. Rise on your feet. I take you on this journey and I ask as your hands are lifted up, may your faith command your blessing. 